being the church. I think that being the church requires some unadulterated commitments. Unadulterated commitments to following the way of Jesus. First, um, being the church requires that we are committed to following the way of Jesus in our proclamation, in our preaching, our kerygma. That is following the way of Jesus in what we say. Being the church requires commitment to following the way of Jesus in our service, our diakonia. That is in what we do. And being the church requires commitment to following the way of Jesus in our fellowship, our community, our koinonia. That is in who we align ourselves with. So taken together, being the church requires unadulterated commitment to following the way of Jesus in what we say, in what we do, and in who we align ourselves with. I find that the problem is that many of us who self-identify as Christian, as followers of the way of the one called the Christ, have not stopped long enough to seriously think about who God is, right? And thus, what following the way of Jesus actually means, what it requires of us as God's people. This thinking and talking about who God is and who we ought to be in light of God's revelation in Jesus Christ is the primary task of theology. And I can't wait to dig deep with you at this being the church conference.